Well, uh, Patrick O'Flynn is Director of Communications for UKIP. Barbara Roach is a former immigration minister under Tony Blair, and she's heading a cross-party campaign to tackle UKIP. Doesn't the very formation of a cross-party campaign from old vested interests like you and your colleagues on other parties demonstrate precisely why UKIP is successful, that you're out of touch with public opinion and they're not. No, I don't think it does at all. I think it's the mainstream party saying there are very real differences about Europe, there are very real differences mm. about immigration, and let's discuss them. But don't let's have it in the way where we pander to the lowest common denominator, where we have a campaign uh, in which if we were talking about black people or Asian people, people would be up all in right. arms. But it's OK to talk about uh, people from Europe. 26 million of them, apparently, are coming well, over okay, here let's looking look at the, for jobs. Let's look at this... this this poster here and you tell us why this poster 26 million people in Europe are looking for work whose jobs are they after why is that racist because it's an absolute nonsense isn't it okay, there it may be nonsense that's so, not the same so, as being racist so, so there are 26 million people so it's alarmist in Europe who are yeah, going to come that in wasn't your work. accusation your if accusation you, was it was racist why uh, is and, that racist and I'll explain if you substituted for the word Europe you substituted <laughs> people from Africa or sure. people from Asia are coming here to look for work Everybody it would think that there. was absolute racist. Because there's no reason to why it says Europe that that isn't right. racist in exactly okay. the same way. It's alarmist, it's nonsense, and what? as Nicholas Soam says, it's completely divisive. Why do you think your party does appeal to racists? Um, I don't think our party appeals to racists any more than the other parties. What I do think is that we're under enormous media scrutiny, uh, which I don't complain about, as Ming Campbell me said to me yesterday, welcome to Test Match Cricket. Uh, <laughs> We, uh, where, where there are people who've expressed racist sentiments, uh, we root them out and we take disciplinary you, action, you including... You don't accept that that poster is racist? Well, of course it's not racist. I mean, the ironic thing is, uh, we in UKIP are proposing an immigration policy which would be a level playing field with every country in the world, a points-based system, so the migrants who can benefit Britain can come here. Uh, what we have at the moment is open-door migration to more, from more than two dozen neighbouring countries, and the absurd situation where an Indian engineer or a New Zealand brain surgeon would struggle to get in, but an Eastern European vagrant has a complete right to come. I mean, that is the double standard, and it's crazy. Why are you raising your eyebrows? Well, I think Patrick doesn't quite appreciate uh, that we that we have uh, a system at the moment uh, which has points-based elements. Because in Not I think for the 2000, EU. I actually the spoke, I actually can spoke about it. You, but they? yes, because that's the, the, the that we have that yeah. level playing field where there are a lot. It's of British, not level though. There Barbara, are that's a the lot point. of British people, as you know working and living in Europe and you give them no thought. But the, the, the question is this, isn't it? Um, we hear almost on a daily basis about extreme candidates. If they're not attacking um, uh, Lenny Henry, you have these UKIP candidates now today attacking Mo Farah for not being British enough or talking about banning Islam. And is it any wonder when you have the leader of your party saying um, to The Guardian on Saturday, when asked, should people be worried about Romanian families living in their street? He says yes. Is it any well, wonder that you're encouraging racists well. of this kind? Well, I completely uh, refute that accusation. And quite frankly, let, let's be real about this. People value their sense of community. Uh, when any people come from another community or nationality, uh, that causes them to worry about their community cohesion. So you disagree with uh, your leader on this subject? No, I'm saying when anyone comes from another country... So you'd country, be quite happy to have Romanians living next to you, unlike your leader? Well, look, what we know about uh, the, the Romanian influx we've had so far is there's an over-representation in certain sorts of crime and anti social behaviour, for instance, cash point fraud, for instance, nuisance so that's, begging that's in the, the middle whole of big country. cities. That's the whole no, country well, you, you're you, saying. you seem to have this amazing thing of putting words in my mouth. I mean, if you'd let me finish, there are many Romanians uh, who work extremely hard and, uh, you know, Romanians who, with those values, coming to live in your street, fine once you get to know them. If it's Romanians running a cash point skimming gang, then, yeah, you've got every right to be concerned and sustain that concern. The question, though, wasn't, you know, uh, are you happy to have people indulging in criminal activity living next to you? It was Romanians in general. 
And to actually make that whole statement about a whole country strikes me as extraordinary. Is it any wonder that you have people aligning with themselves who have this view? And I think it's a great pity because, of course, there are very, very many decent people who have voted for UKIP in the well, past how sweet and, of you and, to say so, and who will vote for UKIP in, you know, in the future. They will. And it's a great shame that some of their representatives and candidates have these extreme Look, views. One, one, two things we know is, one, 70% plus of the British public do not want open door, uh, unlimited immigration uh, from the rest of the European Union. And the second thing we know is there's an extraordinary degree of antipathy towards the Westminster political class represented by you today. So and I have I to say you to were, you, and you, and you're, 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 you know, years, you're a lovely Patrick. person, but with enemies like you, who needs friends? That would be UKIP's uh, well, analysis of today. I think, we, I think we'll stop this before it gets personal. <laughs> OK, thank you both.